Hola, les hablan sus anfitriones de hoy, JB Núñez y Adriana Galíndez. Hoy en nuestra décima sexta edición, Alfombra Roja de nuestro show, El Lenguetazo de Bur TV Digital, Venezolanos Unidos Radio TV, donde les estaremos informando de todo lo relacionado a los eventos más glamurosos, las alfombras rojas y los chimes de farándulas más importantes que acontecen aquí en la ciudad de Hollywood. Comencemos hoy con nuestra décima sexta edición especial con el evento de la gala en antesala de los premios Oscar en Beverly Hills, en el Beverly Hilton Hotel. JV y yo estamos hoy muy emocionados de estar aquí por primera vez cubriendo una gala de los codiciados premios Oscar del mundo del cine americano y del mundo entero. Comencemos con el show de hoy en esta alfombra roja de la gala de los premios Oscar. Bienvenidos. Soy Esaí Morales, aquí estoy, me están dando un premio de leyenda o algo así. Yo creo que es leyenda mi propia mente. Pero no, siempre me, agra me agradece este, que la gente tome su tiempo y me den el reconocimiento. Porque, mire, no, no, no estoy nominado por un Oscar, pero me siento que casi, casi, casi. Sí, ¿verdad? Pues sí, estás aquí en la alfombra roja. Sí, sí, porque he estado aquí trabajando por 40 años en esta industria y eso es una bendición. Excelente. ¿Qué piensas hoy de los Oscars? ¿Quién es tu actor favorito o qué película vas? Bueno, yo creo que Joaquín se la comió y este, me gusta lo que está haciendo con sus causas. Está este, eh, alzando el nivel de, de conciencia y tratando de a, hacer que el mundo sea un poco mejor y utilizando toda esta este, farándula y, y para, para subir... Aquí y aquí. Realmente, para promover. Sí, para promover valores lindos. Muchísimas gracias. gracias bueno, que disfrutes esta noche. Bueno, y este es el... El lengüetazo. El lengüetazo. Hi guys, I'm Serena Laurel. Um, I'm a singer-songwriter and an actress, and I'm so happy to be here at the Oscars viewing party. I love your dress, by the way. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Yeah, I love it. So, what do you think about tonight? What's your favorite actress or movie? What do you think is going to win it? I've always been a big fan of Margot Robbie, so I really hope she comes home with something. She's nominated for Best Actress and Best Supporting Actress, so I'm just really hopeful that she comes home with something. Any 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 projects that we can uh, Are we going to see you soon? Any, any movies? Um, I recently just finished um, our um, award cycle with a short film called Nasty Habits, which is directed by Alison Arm, who's an amazing female director and producer, and she's just so fantastic. And I'm so proud of myself and Alison and the entire crew of Nasty Habits and all the awards that all of us have taken home. How can we find you in Instagram? It's really simple. It's just my name, Serena Laurel, and it's everywhere. <laughs> Thank you so much. Enjoy. Oh, you're nice. Yes, thank you so much. You too. I'm a singer-songwriter. Any projects coming on? And like yes, I have a brand new EP that just came out. It's called Book of Royale. It's on all streaming platforms wherever you listen to music. And I wanted to give a shout out to Cynthia Avira, who's a Broadway star and a musician, and she's nominated for Best Actress tonight. So it's wonderful to see women um, nominated and coming into power, and also musicians a part of the Oscars. It's awesome. Thank you so much. Enjoy your night. Thank you. you too. Thank you. I'm Starla Connat, uh, Natalie Robertson. I'm a writer from London, so I'm here as part of Oscar season to cover various events. And um, it's just great to be in LA, particularly during this time. Um, and it'll be great to kind of share the red carpet moments and the nominees and the Oscar ceremony itself with my readership. So it's a fantastic city, great energy, great vibe, and um, it's good to look and feel glamorous. Yes. All excited about tonight and what it's very be your, one of your favorite stories this year one of your favorite movies for this year well I have to say I mean there's so many but Joker I like Joker because it's a it's a reflection of society current society and although it's from inspired by uh, Batman initially I thought there'd be more of a comical element to it but it actually goes deeper than that it's very psychological and it's a sort of true reflection on you know mental health which is you know a huge thing at the moment and sort of being neglected in society so it really did the film homed in on so many real truths yes so that's a hopefully I'm sure that will win I'm pretty sure it's gonna get I know thank yes. you so much enjoy your night I will do thank you thank you 
<laughs> Hi, I'm Michael Cowley, world famous, world renowned, often talked about, alleged comedian, gentleman, and a scholar, intellectual giant in the pool of mental midgets, and a connoisseur of fine haberdashery. Any projects coming up? Well, I'm, I'm on a play right now called Michael Cowley's Mama. It's going to go to 100 cities. If you like your mama, you're going to love this play. I'm on more comedy shows than Van Camp's got pork and beans. And I got my new book out called Michael Goes Motivational. But if you go to my sexy web page, therealmichaelcowley.com, you can get all the information. Please follow me on Instagram, Michael underscore Cowyer, C-O-L-Y-A-R. What's your favorite movie tonight? Which one you want to go in? Right, well, I like I like One Spot Time in Hollywood, but I'm loving 1917. So I'm I'm torn between which one I want to be the best film. They both are magnificent. I know. Well, enjoy your night. Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I produced Enchanted with Angelina Jolie, of uh, Amy Adams, and Salt with Angelina Jolie. Um, Premonition with Sandra Bullock, and lately I've made a film with um, called Spy Intervention that's coming out on Friday with Drew Van Acker, Ten Cities Theatrical. So I make movies. I love that. Yeah, that's what, why we are here tonight. Uh, what do you think about tonight? What movie? What's your favorite movie actor? Who are you? This year, my favorite movie is um, 1917. It was beautiful and moving and reminded me of Saving Private Ryan and War Horse. And it was just, the, the, the directing was so artistic and beautiful. Like We'll see you in the Oscar next year, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Take care. I'm Dr. Jay Faber from the Faber Ryan Youth Foundation. And then, are you excited about tonight? I mean, look at the energy already. How can you not be excited? I mean, the awards, the energy, the creativity, and all the fantastic people, absolutely. Which is your favorite mood for tonight? Which one would you like to win? You know, I, once upon a time, I mean, if you're from LA, which I'm from here, it really hits home, and I think they really connect with what the Hollywood vibe is about. Yeah. They're they have pretty good chances, so enjoy your night. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, we're here with Michael. How you doing, Mike? This is Michael Blackson, comedian. Uh, I've been telling jokes for a very long time. Um, currently on tour with Martin Lawrence and Mike Epps. Those are very good friends of mine. Uh, just got off the plane straight here from tour. Going back out this weekend. Um, I'm in a movie coming out this spring called The House Next Door with Cat Williams, Mike Epps, all your favorite comedians in this movie. And then my big, big day that I'm looking forward to is Christmas Day. I'm in the, probably the biggest movie in black history. It's called Coming to America Part 2. It's a sequel to Coming to America with Eddie Murphy and Cindy Hall. So look for me in that movie. So besides that, I'm just having a busy, great year. I can't complain. Life is good. Awesome. We're looking forward to watching. And how can we find you in like, Instagram? Uh, my Instagram is all my name, which is M-I-C-H-A-E-L. B L A C K S O N. That's my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook, my Tinder account, my web Black People Meet, and my Christian Mingle. All of them is the same. Who's your favorite actor tonight? Who you want to win? Oh my goodness. You know, I've been a big fan of Robert De Niro oh. for so long. His movie was eight hours long. I didn't get, I watched the first hour and then I was like, I was, I'll, I'll come and watch this later next <laughs> no. month. But Robert's been out with my, my favorite actor of all time. So good luck to him. I'm pretty sure he's going to get something. All right. Thank you so much. and your night. Thank you. Hola, estamos aquí en el lengüetazo con... Hola, soy Lenny Rico, ¿qué tal? Si nos puedes contar un poquito sobre ti. Sí, bueno, soy de España, llevo como ocho años aquí en Los Ángeles y bueno, he estado trabajando, mi último proyecto es una serie que es, bueno, americana y latina también, eh, grabada en Texas y se llama La Guerra Silenciosa y eh, bueno, está en Travisión, en Univisión, en algunos otros canales y pronto grabamos la segunda temporada y la tercera y estoy en The Poison Rose, donde hago un papel pequeñito pero importante porque estoy con John Travolta, Morgan Freeman, eh, Cat, Cat Graham, varios grandes y hago de Poker Dealer, eh, se llama The Poison Rose y nada, y también estoy escribiendo ahora, estoy escribiendo un, mi propia vida porque era jugadora de baloncesto profesional en España y, y nada, estoy en preproducción, así que espero que lo veáis pronto. Eres buena hora. Y a ver, ¿qué, esta noche, ¿qué película, qué actor? te gusta a quién le vas a ver el joker tiene que ganar es que hizo un papelón joaquín fénix se lo merece sí y creo que judy también eh, hizo un papelazo como 
a mí esa historia no la sabía hasta que vi la película y, y me fascinó en la transformación que ella tiene. Los dos se lo merecen. Muchísimas gracias, estoy segura que van a ganar. Bueno, que tengas una excelente noche. Muchas gracias, igualmente disfruta. Here in the Lingua Tasso. Hey, and what's your name? Adriana. Adriana, I'm Carmeny Fortune. I'm the CEO of UPMT Agency. I'm the youngest black woman CEO of a talent agency here in Los Angeles. Um, right now we're working on original content. I have a show called The Mel's that I wrote, created, directed, and produced about three beautiful brown girls and their different stories. And I'm so excited about the Oscars. Um, I'm super excited about Harriet. I'm hoping that that wins. Um, and yeah, I'm just happy to be here with you guys. Thank you so much enjoyed and I love your dress by the way I love that color beautiful oh, color blocking <laughs> good to meet you Andy. good to meet you this is your night so hi we're here hi what's your name Hendrix <laughs> I am an actor and all-around artist just creator if it is art involve me <laughs> um, um, but focusing on acting right now uh, working on a an indie film right now um, locally produced so that's really fun and yeah just excited to be a happy Oscars oh, any projects coming on uh, yes working on an indie film right now um, that's the only thing I have in the works yeah excited about tonight I am who's your favorite actor oh, Joaquin Phoenix he's just he's talented he's so he's real I love him I think he's gonna get it I think yeah I know <laughs> thank you so much thank you have a blessed night <laughs> Okay, I'm an actress, so you know, Oscar night is is very exciting time for all of us. Even if you're not at the Oscars, just to watch it and to be inspired by all the the work that everyone's done is fantastic. Any projects coming up? I'm in episode nine of Party of Five that is airing on Freeform, so that's really exciting. I love the show. Have you seen the show? Yet? Yes, I have. I love it. I know. I know. Yeah. So I'm really honored to be a part of that show. One of my friend is like over there, Emily Tosta, and she's amazing. And I love this show. So good. Everyone's so good. Good. Yeah, so I'm excited to be a part of it because it's just it's so relevant right now with everything going on and I, I think it's yeah It's fantastic, and I have a lifetime movie coming out as well I don't know the dates yet, so I'll keep everyone up to date on that when it comes out yet What's your favorite movie this year? Oh my gosh a favorite I watched Parasite last night. That was very interesting But there's so many good ones. It's hard. I don't want to like say oh my no There's a lot of people talking about Parasite. So. Yeah, it's pretty good. Thank you so much Jessica enjoy your you too. Hi, my name is Keith L. Craig. So I uh, spent 32 years in the military. Um, also, I currently work at uh, Walt Disney Motion Picture Studios as a film distributor. I've distributed uh, Lion King, Aladdin, uh, to name a few, along with Black Panther, uh, Avengers. So we've been pretty successful this year. Awesome. Any projects coming up? Say again. Any projects coming up? Oh, sure. We have uh, Call of the Wild is coming up. Um, we have Jungle Cruise coming up. That should, should be fun for everybody. So pretty much every three weeks we have a film that we be putting out there in exhibition. So you know, have fun. Looking forward to watch it. And how do you feel about tonight? Which is your favorite actor? So what movie are you like? Ooh, to you're gonna make me decide. Um, <laughs> Uh, being a former military person, I'm going to say 1917 is probably the one that I'm leaning toward because um, I spent a long time serving this, serving this country, serving our nation. So um, I always like to see uh, a part of that, you know, shown to Hollywood. That's awesome. Thank you so much and enjoy your night. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Patrick Simpson. I'm Paul Atu, P O L A T T E U. And Snow White, 90210. <laughs> And we're from Gown and Out in Beverly Hills. Uh, airs on Amazon Prime Video. Oh, awesome. We've been submitted for a daytime Emmy, so we're waiting for our nomination to see if we're going to be able to get nominated and then win an Emmy. Season one is streaming now, and season two comes out next month. Perfect. How can we check out your Instagram, Facebook? Who cares about my Instagram? Go to the movie. <laughs> Go to the freaking shop. Watch it on Amazon Prime. No. Uh, Patrick Simpson. P A T R I K S I M P S O N Simpson. Mine is Poletu, P O L A T T E U. 
Yeah. I'm at Rodeo Drive. Come by and visit. Of course I will. And I'm pretty sure you're going to be nominated next year. So. Yeah. Not next year. This year. Yes. Oh, my God. 2020 is you. I filmed. Yes. It's in two weeks. 2020. In two weeks. No, it's like right now. I know. We're excited. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. My name is Zachary Aronson, and I'm a visual artist from Los Angeles. I have work featured here tonight. I do uh, artwork with blow torches, portraits and figurative work burned into wood with fire as my primary medium. How can we find you in Instagram? At Zachary Aronson. That's Z A C H A R Y A R O N S O N. Are you excited about tonight? I'm very excited. I've been looking forward to it for a long time now. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie? Ooh, um, What Dreams May Come. All right, okay. Well, let's see how it goes. Thank you so much. Enjoy your night. Thanks. This is a language so weird. Yes, hi. My name is Leonard Espra, and I'm a producer. I'm currently working on finishing our film called Landfill, so watch out. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lilia Pretilau. I'm one of the dress designer, and here and in the Philippines. Yeah, I'm the aunt of Manny Pacquiao, the boxer. I'm the, I'm very proud to have my beloved nephew Manny Pacquiao and Jinky Pacquiao. Awesome! Thank you so much. Have a good day. Y aquí estamos en el Guetazo con Rudy. Rudy, cuéntanos cómo te sientes esta noche. Bueno, me siento muy contento. Ya sabes que ha sido una noche de alegría. Y me siento súper orgulloso que estamos latinos, estamos acá triunfando en Hollywood. Y bueno, ya verás el evento. Es el segundo año que estoy haciendo, programando este evento. Y me siento súper contento de estar con mi madre, que siempre la llevo. Sí, te veo muy bien acompañado. Con mi mami. Sí, yo estoy contenta de ver a mi hijo que, que va a estar triunfando más, de, con, sobre todo con los latinos. Estoy muy agradecida porque él siempre me trae acá. Me trae. Ven y aquí. Y yo soy su tía, que siempre es mi segundo año que vengo a esta reunión tan linda para ver a mi sobrino. Y estoy feliz lo que está haciendo. Es todo. Muy bien. Y cuéntanos, ¿quién esperas que gane esta noche? ¿Qué, qué, bueno, ¿Tu mejor actor? ¿Quién es quién tu preferido? Mira, ahorita estamos, eh, hemos tenido a Manny García, eh, un, un muchacho que hizo un video con Pitbull, tenía 647 millones de views, lo traje de Miami y, de Miami, y ahorita va a estar este, concursando y, y, y ya sabes, animando más que todo, claro que sí, cantando. Perfecto. Y unas cosas que admiramos siempre de nuestro querido amigo Rudy es que él siempre carga a su familia, a su bella madre, a su bella tía. ¿Cómo se sienten ustedes siempre andar con, con sus sobrinos? Sí, sí, no me pierdo esta reunión de, por nada, ni menos yo. Cuéntanos de dónde salen estos bellos atuendos, esos bellos vestidos. Ah, de las diseñadoras. Ella, la, la, la persona que diseñó el vestido es una diseñadora eh, mexicana, Gira Ponce, que especialmente le hizo este vestido a ella. Hermoso. Y Kimi Kerma es un, la diseñadora de ella. Bellísima, está bellísima. Bueno, bienvenidos, que disfruten. Sí. Muchas Muy felicidades bien. Rudy por su éxito, estamos aquí desde Beverly Hills felicitando a este influencer latino, muchas felicidades y que siga para adelante. Sigan los éxitos. Muchas gracias, muchas gracias por estar conmigo. Gracias, adiós. Antonio Carnota es mi nombre, Adriana, y estoy muy feliz de estar aquí en los Oscars. Soy gallego. En... Estuve tocando el piano rojo. No lo habéis visto porque estabais aquí con las fotos, pero yo estuve ahí. La verdad que fue maravilloso. Y muy contento, muy honrado estar aquí. Estar esta noche. ¿Y cuál es tu película favorita este año? Yo que... tengo muchas ganas de ver qué pasa con el Irishman. Tengo muchas ganas de ver qué pasa con esa película. Vamos a ver qué tal. Bueno, muchísimas gracias, Antonio. Y a vosotros, gracias. Hola, estamos aquí en El Egoetazo con... Gregorio Contreras. Este, soy un actor aquí en Los Ángeles. Este, me acabo de mudar acá hace un año y medio más o menos. Y ahorita tenemos un proyecto de una película que se llama Modest. Es de una persona que está viviendo muy mal para hacer las cosas muy bien, con las buenas intenciones. Entonces es un personaje muy difícil porque uno tiene que pensar cómo las cosas son malas, pero tratar de hacer bien. 
Entonces es un proyecto que tenemos, o sea, mucho trabajando y, y esperemos tenemos mucho éxito con, con el proyecto. Claro sí. que sí, muchísimo éxito. ¿Y cómo te podemos conseguir en las redes? Este, Greg Contreras en Instagram y Greg Contreras este, en Facebook. Perfecto. ¿Sí? ¿Cómo te sientes esta noche sobre los Oscars? ¿Cuál es tu película favorita? Joker. 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 Joaquín Phoenix fue maravilloso. O sea, no tiene nada que ver con, con Marvel o así superhéroes. Es el personaje que él proyectó fascinante. Es lo que hemos estado escuchando esa noche, creo que... Sí. Joker, espero. Bueno, sí. Muchísimas gracias. gracias que señorita. disfrutes. Gracias. Hi, are we here with... Hi, my name is Ina Fisher. I'm an actress, writer, and a filmmaker, and uh, I'm the cast in Box of America, and I'm working on my own projects. I have three projects lined up, and uh, Guest House of the Dead is the next one, and then there are some other projects lined up. So I'm working very hard to make it happen. Of course it's gonna happen. Congratulations for that. We are here at Oscar in Gala. How do you feel about tonight? What's your favorite movie? so far? Uh, well, I like Joker and like Once Upon in Hollywood and uh, I like Irishman. So let's see which let's see what happens tonight. Then. I know, thank you so much. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Of course. So hi, are we here in the lane with us? So we... Hi, I'm Kiki Wang. I'm a, a Hollywood celebrity fashion designer and uh, I dress movie stars all over the world. And I dress for the uh, um, Oscars, Golden Globe, BET MTV, and Cannes, and the Russian Grammy, and uh, uh, Dubai International Movie Festival, uh, Chinese Movie Festival, all over the world. That's amazing, I love your outfit. Yes, I made it myself. I love it, I wonder, oh, look at that. I know, it's beautiful. Collection, yes, I just uh, built this collection in New York. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was like uh, uh, two weeks ago. I was in New York. I did my fashion show, and as a matter of fact, they're gonna do uh, another fashion show in uh, 13th for New York Fashion Week. And find you. We're gonna do the donation, like an auction for the, uh, you know, to support uh, different charity. That's awesome. Can we find you in Instagram? Yeah, I mean, I don't use Instagram. Uh, just find me on Kiki Wong Fashion and YouTube and Kiki Wong Fashion for, um, you know, Facebook. Yeah. We will. Thank you so much for. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Thank you. Thank you. We're here in the Lingua Tasso with Brandon Bailey. Uh, yeah, so um, basically I have been an actor for over 10 years and uh, I'm working on a project right now. I don't know what the part's going to be, but it's in a Marvel film, so it's going to be a pretty big pretty big deal. So pretty much the biggest thing I've ever done so far. So. That's awesome. We're looking to like watch it. How can we find you on Instagram? It's uh, Brandon Bailey LA. So pretty, it's uh, B-R-A-N-D-O-N-B-A-I-L-E-Y-L-A. So how do you feel t uh, tonight about being here, the Oscar, what's your favorite movie? Uh, there's a lot of favorite movies. Uh, the Joker was amazing. There's really a lot of cool films. I mean, every film is just pretty awesome because the work that goes into it. I think a lot of people don't really understand the work it actually takes to uh, make a film happen. So, very thankful and blessed for the arts. Thank you so much. Enjoy the night. <laughs> pequeño intro, algo que quiera decir y ya luego, ya. No, que no. Hablar en español. ¿A qué miedo? El acento neutro, ese sí. es mi problema. Okay. ¿De dónde eres? Venezuela. Ah, qué bien. ¿no? Ya. Ustedes saben, ya empiezan bastante de neutro. Ya, Están bueno. Al, sí. al ladito de Colombia, que eso es lo que hablan ya, así. Ya, que un poquito, un sí. cantadito. Y los, y los ecuatorianos. Y ya, los, también, sí, sí, ¿no? es, también. Esa parte de Latinoamérica es bien, este, el español es sí. bastante eh, amplio sí, y, y, y llenito. Son, son nosotros de las islas y, y de otros lugares, o de México. Yo soy boricua ya, y este, sí. nosotros tragamos las heces. Ya, pero te y, tienes un acento muy neutro. Bueno, trato para que me entiendan los demás. Ya. <risa> Mi familia de Puerto Rico. Sí, ¿no? ah, bueno. Ya sé. Sí, ya, ya, sé. Ya, ya, ya tú sabes. Ya tú sabes. Okay. Entonces. Hey, hello, hello. What? El lenguetazo. El lenguetazo. Okay. How how's that in English? Put your dad. It's oh my god in English. Oh my god in English. Oh the big tongue. I thought I saw that movie and I don't know if this is appropriate venue. I don't know if it's appropriate. Oh my god. That's hilarious. Can you tell me your name? Can you be yourself? 
happy, happy, hey, hey, happy, happy, hey, hey, happy, happy, hey, hey, happy. We need to get rid of the stress, tension, depression, anxiety. Go on my Laughing Yogi channel, 600 video, Laughing Yogi on YouTube. Happy, happy, happy. Thank you. Thank you so much. How you feel about being here today? Hi, my hope is this is a language with Asso. Yeah, wait. Asso, yeah, that's a very hard to say. But if you can start, like, telling us about yourself, okay. I'm going to feel you, so. ¿Y a qué les reportó sus anfitriones de hoy? JB Núñez y Adriana Galíndez de El Lengüetazo desde Hollywood, California. Y no se pueden perder nuestros próximos programas de nuestro canal de YouTube, Bull TV Digital. Y no te olvides de suscribirte a nuestro canal y darle la campanita de la izquierda y seleccionar la opción de todas las notificaciones para recibir las alertas de nuestros nuevos programas y darnos un like o un me gusta para nuestros nuevos videos y seguirnos en nuestras redes sociales de Twitter, Instagram, Facebook Live and Periscope como arroba Bull TV Digital. Y hasta la, la próxima. próxima edición. Bye, bye. bye.